So, good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Swan Pandega, second in academic surgeon. Today, I am going to talk about the eight specialities, that is, diploma specialties available in the National Board program that you can uh, opt for after NEET PG 2025, whose result is uh, anywhere soon going to get released. So, first of all, what are the eight specialties? That is, pediatrics, ENT, ophthal, gynecology, anesthesia, TB chest, and uh, family medicine. This is radiology. So, these are uh, the old eight specialties that are available in this. So, First of all, who, which ranks should think about taking diploma? First of all, if you have dreamt of any eight specialties in this uh, thing and you are not getting MD or DNB or MS in these specialties, you can definitely think about dip uh, diploma courses because it is the same specialty that you have dreamt of working in. So it doesn't matter, actually, practically speaking, because preparation for another one year, all 19 subjects will be much tiring if you have already taken a drop. So first thing is you will be getting, uh, getting the same branch that you have dreamt of earning. Second thing is your salary will be running. You won't be paying much more. It is the same government type of fees like 1,25,000 per year. And you will be getting around 70,000 to 1 lakh stipend anywhere. In South states that is much less but still you will be getting enough salary. You won't be sitting idle uh, like unemployed. You will be employed and you will be working the same specialty that you have dreamt of. So, second thing is the third thing is uh, you will be gaining experience of the same specialty that you are going to work in future. So, taking a drop and another NIC PG, giving another NIC PG and taking the same branch after one year or 1.5 years because these days delays are also very much common. NIC PG delay, counseling delay. So, after 1.5 years, one year, you will be getting the same specialty. But till that time, if you have taken a diploma in the same specialty, you will have a, you will be having much more knowledge, and you have uh, gained one more year of experience in the space, same specialty that you are going to work in future. Fourth thing is that is a con. Like after diploma, if you are uh, planning to complete whole degree, that you will have to do secondary DNP. So for that, after diploma, there will be around uh, uh, six to eight months or one year of gap between uh, like for PD set examinations to get happened and after that counseling and all. So and after that you will be uh, doing another two years. So that in total you will be doing about five years in the same specialty. That is the only con. But even after completing primary degree at three years or MDMS, people do wants of one to two years. So that is equivalent. Doesn't matter. And another thing is uh, like uh, people do primary DMB or diploma at the primary DMB or sorry MDMS at a place where uh, they are not uh, um, they will want uh, won't get won't be getting enough hands on won't be getting enough uh, skills upgrading of skills won't be um, getting enough uh, training so again those they will have to compensate after one to two years so it will be same equal to like diploma and and um, as per my personal experience. A primary diploma with secondary DNB resident is always, always much more experienced than any primary dip, uh, degree holder. Within this, after this five years of uh, total experience, a diploma with secondary DNB uh, uh, degree holder will be always much more experienced in that particular specialty. So uh, these, these are the things that who and why should you think. For and another thing is if you're uh, given already much more need PG examinations like 3 to 4 tries you should end this and uh, toil and by getting into this diploma in if your desired specialty is within these 8 branches the job aspects about uh, <coughs> after diploma I will break this up into government, private and medical college like government job at many places at the, uh, many states like UP like if you are a diploma holder and you gain one year of experience at any MCI recognized institutes, medical college or NABH, fully NABH accredited hospitals, they will, uh, your one year experience will be counted post diploma and after this uh, diploma with one year of that experience, you will be eligible for consultant post. So you don't have to get any DMB degree, MDMS degree for any securing any government job. You will be equally eligible for, uh, uh, <coughs> equally eligible for that post. Um, along with MDMS and diploma, uh, that's DMB holders. So it doesn't matter, government job. So another thing is private. Private job totally depends on your personal skills, your hard work, and how much revenue do you, uh, are you able to generate for that hospital. For, I'm talking, uh, let's say, talk about any prime institutes, prime multi-specialty hospitals at the center of the city, you might face some, some uh, discrimination about MDMS and diploma. They, uh, they might prefer MDMS or DMB candidates, but it hardly matters. There are only few institutes, such institutes. So, 
so at such places where only your work matters it doesn't matter which degree do you hold so in my personal experience that mostly mostly if you, even if you are a diploma holder if you are able to uh, generate more revenue to that hospital and your skills are very much uh, uh, far uh, better and uh, if not better equivalent to the mdms and uh, dmb holders you won't face any sort of issues in job securing and as well as the salary aspects so these are the things in medical college the only difference is that uh, they don't allow you for uh, further operating into your ap post but recently the guidelines have changed after diploma if you gain 4 years of experience as a sr ship if your medical college allows you to appoint you as an sr for 4 years then you will be you will be eligible for ap post in that same medical college or any other in the same state i guess exactly i don't know and exactly i, I guess uh, people who are doing this also are not clear about this but uh, as per me uh, what i have read and in my experience both my friends are doing like if you do diploma and post diploma if you are able to secure a sr ship job in any medical college they are allow you as an sr post and uh, within the four years you do you want to one thesis and uh, few publications and all you will be eligible for ap post after four years of total experience so in medical college also it uh, like it is manageable if you are uh, dedicated to do so talking about salary like in all specialties salary totally depends on this uh, different specialties their uh, caliber and specialty itself and uh, your personal caliber what skills do you offer and what revenue are you able to generate so like uh, in gynae ops it hardly matters because there are ample amount of posts especially gynecology so salary wise it hardly matters even i have seen diploma holders securing about 3 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs in uh, per month salary in the periphery and in center also like 2 to 2.5 lakhs after even just after passing out you don't need any sr ship for experience like if you are able to um, handle every sorts of ops work and gynecology work and uh, laparoscopy is like you can uh, again gain some experience in 2 3 months of fellowship or anywhere you can work under somebody and you can do lap and stuff from you know so you will equal into like Uh, dnb uh, gynae or md ms gynae so in pediatrics slightly the salaries have gone down over the few years and because of saturation i don't know but uh, salary is like in periphery to 2.5 lakhs and in center also 1.5 or less in i'm th- purely talking about job prospects if you are able to um, run your own hospital you know, run your own clinic then sky is the limit you can set up your own thing like it doesn't matter in periphery and center even if we were a diploma holder or anything like that degree doesn't matter so another thing is i'd like talking about uh, pediatrics gynecology then ent and ophthalm ent and ophthalm like saturation is center is too much but still there is requirement for like uh, at many places like in ent like uh, people know a uh, niche into that work at few surgeries they only do few surgeries like if you are able to offer much more variety of surgeries you will be required and even it doesn't matter you which degree are you holding diploma or full degree so in periphery also but still in and around on an average around 2 to 2.5 lakhs salary uh, people offer in periphery but it can go up to 3 to 4 lakhs depending on your experience my personal experience is that you can get 3 to 4 lakhs easily if you are uh, doing all the surgeries in ophthalmology it's slightly difficult because uh, few changes have uh, re- reforms are being made in that ayushman cards and also that is a different topic but still salary will be around initial even after diploma pass out if you are able to do sics feco two things then you will be getting uh, 2 to 2.5 lakhs if you are working in bulk anyway so uh, then talking about radiology radiology like even uh, if you are a diploma holder even that cps dmre holder like in this uh, well in the states where dmre is recognized that right? even in the states that those states and even uh, dmre anywhere in india there is diploma in radiology like you will be getting around 2.5 to around 5 to 6 lakhs even 5 to 6 lakhs of salary per month if you go in periphery like in center also if you even for diploma order like uh, even in the major cities you will be easily getting 2.5 to 3 lakhs in that particular hours if you work extra then you can get extra so it doesn't matter uh, then talking about nssa also same thing it hardly matters 
minimum you will get uh, minimum you will be getting in less than 2.5 to 2 lakhs even more than that so uh, remaining specialties are like tb chest tb chest requirements are quite less uh, that is my honest uh, opinion like in periphery also and in center also but if in if, if you are able to complete your secondary dnb and uh, if you put up your own clinic and setup you can again excel in that another thing is like uh, family medicine again i will say the requirements are quite less and you will be have to work much more than these other specialties to gain such salaries um, now uh, talking about the post diploma exam post diploma exam pd said that is entrance exam is quite easy you will be getting 120 mcqs uh, in the same specialty that you have been working and if we if we, even if you secure mid ranks then easily you will be able to secure a secondary dmb hospital and you will be again two years after two years you will be completing your full degree so this is the thing pd said is not hard secondary but just that you choose the secondary dmb hospital uh, where you have uh, you um, you find yourself at a place where you learn more that you have already learned in diploma uh, you are uh, able to gain much more knowledge than that choose a institute where you can learn more that you have um, not the thing that you have already learned something more just the choosing choosing of the institute choice of the institutes that matter in the secondary mb but uh, getting into secondary mb is not at all hard now the conclusion my personal opinion will be about diploma take it you won't regret it you definitely won't regret it if you are uh, planning to work in that specialty within these eight branches in future uh, don't wait for any dnb or mbms seats it uh, hardly matters if you are um, getting in nearby your home or in the state where your language issue doesn't uh, matter much in the familiar states then you definitely opt for it and uh, i think it's a wise choice to take into diploma Thanks.